Hi guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetsu.com, and we are doing this kind of a video for the first time. And this is a live Q and A for the new phone which we have just reviewed. Uh, this is the U Unique, which was recently launched for a price of approximately uh, five thousand rupees. So for five thousand rupees, you're getting good specifications on this phone. And I see a lot of people asking about this phone, so they have a lot of queries related to this one. Which we are trying to basically sort out in this video. So this is a live chat basically with all our uh, viewers who are there online uh, watching this live, and I think uh, we will get to see some people joining in within some time. Uh, as of now, what I can say that this device is good, and there are other options as well uh, in this price range, which is this uh, the Ficom Energy Six Five Three. We are going to talk about this one as well, and then we have uh, this one, which is the uh, unique uh, as per Eureka. So that's how it is. So let me figure out some other things before we start this. Let's wait for some people to join in. And here we have a section screen share. No, no screen share. So let me try to. Basically, do it here. I think we have one viewer. So uh, let's start with the device in case you have any questions. So you can ask those questions related to uh, you unique, which we have with us. And uh, if you have any other question related to whether you want to buy a phone uh, which should not be more than seven thousand rupees in terms of the price segment. So for any phone, if you want a suggestion from our side uh, for a phone which should not be more than seven thousand rupees, you can ask us uh, in this one. And again, I'm doing this for the first time, so I'm not sure how it is going. Uh, let me figure out how do we chat. Yeah, we have a chat section over there, so you can enter your questions in the chat section and. I would love to help you. Uh, if you have any questions related to you, unique, you can ask them. If you have any questions related to Ficom Energy 653, which is a similar price device, you can ask. And even if you have any questions for the Redmi 2 Prime, which we have with us, you can ask that as well. So uh, we are doing this video to basically tell you what op what all good options are there, especially uh, when it comes to the phones which are in a price segment of seven thousand rupees. Uh, so within 7,000 rupees, you get U Unique, which is a pretty good phone, which you can go for. So this one gives you a pretty good specification for the price. It comes with 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB of internal storage, around 4 GB of that is actually available to the user. And then we have the Ficom Energy 653, which is slightly better compared to U Unique. And this is something I'm saying because this one gives you a 5 inch full high definition display. So this one has a five inch full high definition display compared to 4.7 inch high definition display on U Unique. So this one is definitely better, especially in case you want a bigger display size, you can go for the Ficom Energy 653. Although it is a Chinese company and most of the people have doubts related to the after sale support of the Ficom Energy 653. As far as I have experience, this phone gives you uh, very, very much stock Android experience, a lollipop experience. Uh, as far as this one is concerned, the software UI is pretty smooth and responsive. It is pretty smooth and responsive over here as well, which is also almost stock Android, but there is slight amount of customization. I would say this phone is slightly better because of the bigger display size. So in case you want five in display, you can go for the Ficom Energy 653, which come for the same price point but this one will give you a bigger display compared to you unique so this is one thing apart from this both of them have got eight megapixel cameras so there are eight megapixel camera modules on both of them which you can see over there and then uh, we do have another phone in this price segment which is slightly on the higher side so this one is seven thousand rupees approximately so for seven thousand rupees you're getting better specifications as well but i think for six thousand rupees you can get redmi 2 as of now which will come with 1 GB RAM and 8 GB internal storage again. So for the price, this one is again 1000 rupees higher compared to these two. Even if you compare the storage and the RAM, which is going to be the same in case you go for the 6000 rupees price uh, Redmi 2. 
So Redmi 2 at 6,000 rupees uh, will offer you 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB of internal storage, 8 megapixel rear camera, which is going to be better compared to what you get over here on U Unique and what you get over here on Ficom Energy 653. So this device has better camera, which is a plus point, even if you're considering the 8 GB storage model. And again, uh, right now I'm using the mic, which is there inside my MacBook. So I'm not sure how good the audio is. Hopefully it should be good. I'm not sure whether you guys are asking any questions and where it is. I'm doing this for the first time. So I don't know exactly where the question should come, but I think you can use the chat section uh, on the YouTube video, which we are doing right now. So you can use the chat section and then uh, you should be able to see the live video and a live chat box over there. And then you can ask your questions over there. Let me just take a look. Uh, we do have a chat section over there where you can actually enter your message, but I don't see any message. I don't, I'm not sure whether it, it is publicly there for everyone or is it just there for our subscribers? I need to figure that out, but right now I can see myself only in this one. So uh, that's how things are related to you, unique. And then we have a uh, Ficom Energy 653. So in case you are looking for a phone uh, for a price of approximately 5,000 rupees only, these are the two best phones you can get from the market. This one is available on snapdeal.com, which is relatively not that great, especially for shopping. And again, it is not very friendly when it comes to the feedback which we have got. But still, again, uh, you will get the servicing from you, Televenture, on this one. But uh, the FICOM Energy 653 will give you a bigger display size and a slightly better software, I would say. So this one has a slightly better software and a better UI uh, response as well as compared to this one, which is also kind of stock Android. They are not using uh, Cyanogen OS on the U Unique, which is also one thing which you should make a note of. So in case you are looking forward to U Unique because it has Cyanogen, it does not have Cyanogen. So Cyanogen is not there on this device and you are again getting stock Android on this one with slight amount of customization and you're getting completely stock Android which is pretty smooth and responsive over here and I can show you I have used this phone for some time and I can see that this phone is still responsive and smooth as far as sim card connectivity is concerned both of these phones are dual sim phones so in case you talk about the uh, the Ficom Energy 653 it has got dual sim and both the SIM support 4G. So 4G is supported on both of them. And if we talk about the U Unique, this one also supports 4G on both the SIM card slot. And then we have a micro SD card slot over here as well. And we do have it over here as well. As far as battery is concerned, the battery is slightly higher on the FICOM Energy 653, which is 2300 milliampere. So 2300 milliampere of the battery you're getting on this one, which is slightly bigger battery compared to what you're getting on the U Unique. And one more thing, which is good, the battery is removable here. So if you if you actually buy the FICOM Energy 653, the battery is removable. And we are also coming up with a comparison video of these devices. So you can actually watch that in detail. But as of now, I can say that this device is better. The FICOM Energy 653 is better in terms of bigger display size, bigger battery. It has a removable battery as well. And it will give you a better software UI, which is smooth and responsive. I, and I can start, I have started noticing lag on the Unique uh, after using it for approximately two days, which is something which is not that great. So uh, this is how things are in between these two as far as the overall performance is concerned. Apart from that, if we talk about some more things uh, like uh, the third phone, which is the Redmi 2, I can basically, uh, tell you that this is a pretty good phone, uh, better than these two, uh, better than the uh, Euphoria and, uh, sorry, not Euphoria, Unique and uh, Ficom Energy 653. In terms of camera, this is this phone. This is Redmi 2. And you can go for the 8GB variant for a price approximately 1,000 rupees more than these two. So these two are coming for 5,000 rupees. And this one will come for approximately 6,000 rupees for the 8GB storage model which is right now available on Flipkart, so you can buy that. So this is all we have as of now. Let me just see whether I can see some questions. And then uh, if, if I don't have any questions, then I will probably end this. Uh, let me see whether I have some questions. I'm trying to find out whether you guys can actually uh, 
put some questions over there or is it not allowed uh, as far as the youtube video is concerned the youtube video is there and it is getting broadcasted as of now uh, let me see whether i can receive the questions from you guys and how can i see those questions where they are and uh, let, let me see let me see it's okay um, yeah i cannot locate the option of checking this thing but let me see whether we have the i think i have the link to that video uh, which is this one so let me try going to the link directly and see whether you guys have posted any questions i think the youtube video will have some questions in the comments and i will answer them one by one uh, okay here we go so this is the video which is being broadcasted right now and again, uh, yeah, I think I have some questions over there in the comments. Okay, I need to mute this. Is it? Yeah, I cannot locate the option of checking this thing. Okay, let me try. Okay, yeah, we have questions over there. In the, okay, can you tell me the price? The first uh, question is, can you tell me the price? So the price of the FICOM Energy Six Five Three is. Uh, 5,000 rupees and for you unique it is uh, 5,000 rupees as well so you can buy any of these two this one will give you a bigger display size compared to this one and apart from that if we talk about other things uh, one of the question is I have root access on my first gen Moto G bootloader unlocked recovery sorry we don't have any information about this I don't uh, basically give any information about routing uh, even I don't know much about routing so it is better not me answering this question hi uh, what do you think uh, another question is from david uh, david edward and he wants to find out how do you think it is worth upgrading from moto x 2014 to moto x style okay so moto x style is actually a very good phone and it has metal and it is slightly more premium compared to what you might have seen on moto x previously so moto x style will give you a better overall look and feel and it has a slightly better design it is improved and it comes with the bamboo back cover so bamboo back cover is the, going to be there on the moto x style in case you want to buy it it is going to be a, a stylish phone definitely and they actually call it the right way the moto x style so moto x style is going to come on 14th so moto x style is going to launch on 14th of uh, uh, 14th of september in india and it is coming monday coming monday what about iPhone 6s? Okay, iPhone 6s, I would say you can go for an upgrade for iPhone 6s or a new phone. In case you are planning to buy an iPhone, definitely iPhone 6s is going to be the better option uh, as compared to any other option out there. iPhone 6s has got a bigger camera this time in terms of megapixels, 12 megapixel camera it is. I have not experienced the phone. I have not got a chance to basically see the phone till now. It is not right now in India, but I think it should be a good, a good upgrade with the 3D touch and the better camera. And you have a better touch ID as well, which is going to be fast and responsive compared to what I have on my iPhone 6 over there. So this is something which I feel uh, apart from that, which is good, Euphoria or you unique. So I think Euphoria is a better choice. So in case you are confident this one, Euphoria is definitely going to be a better choice compared to Unique. This is something which I feel because on Euphoria you get the Cyanogen OS experience as well, which you don't get on this one. This is a budget hardware, uh, again, uh, which is compromised in terms of the overall performance. The gaming is not that great over here as well. On Euphoria, you can do better gaming. So in terms of gaming, whether it is, uh, uh, we have this question from Siddhant Sharma, uh, who's asking whether the Xiaomi Redmi 2, uh, the energy, FICOM Energy 653, or unique is better in terms of gaming so in terms of gaming the redmi 2 is going to be the best and then you can do some gaming over there on the uh, ficom energy 653 as well and uh, if you talk about the u unique it is the worst in terms of gaming so in terms of rating this one is the best for gaming and then uh, this one is going to be on the second position for gaming uh, this one also has snapdragon 410 but still i would say gaming was slightly better over there but still the hardware remains the same so in terms of gaming this is going to give you better performance because of the customization which has been done they have actually optimized the phone to play games and you can play games uh, much effectively on the xiaomi redmi 2 which is not there on these two phones so 
definitely in terms of gaming uh, uh, the redmi 2 is going to be the best option now uh, now okay uh, we have another question from prashant kumar pavan why brands like sony htc using the mediatek processor instead of qualcomm mediatek performing better than qualcomm okay so one thing i would like to cl clear especially why brands are using a uh, mediatek processor because mediatek chipsets are relatively cheaper compared to the cost of a qualcomm chipset on a phone so that is one reason why they are using mediatek so that they can actually price those phones cheaper in the market and in india any phone up to 15000 rupees only sells anything above 15000 rupees uh, does not make much of a sense and the complete market is around 10 to 15000 rupees and i'm talking about the majority of the market not about everyone yes people do buy premium phones like iphone samsung galaxy s6 edge as well and s6 as well but the major market is in between the phones which starts from 5000 rupees and goes up to 15000 rupees so mediatek chipset actually make these phones cheaper and that is why uh, this is like this that they, are, they have started using mediatek chipset which is like affordable qualcomm has also released a lot of affordable chipset like snapdragon 210 but still in terms of the distribution in terms of the number of chipset available with qualcomm for affordable price is less compared to mediatek okay uh, we have another question from manav is for prasad okay how hey can you tell me whether upgrading from moto g second gen to third gen worth it yes it is uh, moto g third gen is definitely a better phone especially with the waterproof feature they have provided so moto g third gen is going to give you a better durability over time and the overall battery performance of the moto g third gen is also better so you can expect a better uh, better battery performance better overall design and you also get the waterproof feature as well which is good so moto g third gen is definitely worth an upgrade in case you want to upgrade from moto g second gen uh, which is still good but i would say uh, moto g second gen is uh, not going to be better than third gen third gen is definitely better in terms of the overall design improvements and uh, the camera improvements they have done okay uh, unique uh, do okay we have another question from abdul khader who is asking whether the unique phones uh, which is uh, this one so unique phone whether it has magnetic field sensor or not okay it does not have magnetic field sensor but that does not mean that the gps navigation will not work gps navigation does work on this phone and uh, that is why uh, uh, i would like to say that in case you are considering this one and you want to avoid it because it does not have magnetic field sensor then uh, don't do that because gps navigation does work and what about the xiaomi mi 5 xiaomi mi 5 will take time to come to india and uh, xiaomi is not yet ready with it mi 5 will take a lot of time as of now uh, even it has not been announced so don't expect it to come uh, within a month i think by the end of this year we will see xiaomi mi 5 around diwali or before diwali you will see xiaomi mi 5 coming to india okay hi uh, what do you think about the windows phone against android and ios so windows phone right now is facing a lot of issues because windows phone uh, in terms of the overall os experience they have not upgraded much things on the os on the windows phone a windows phone is still i would say stable for people who would like to use a phone uh, just like for the simple things and they don't want to basically see new features or they don't want to basically experience the new features which are there in android and ios but as of now windows phone is lagging behind uh, in my opinion and things will improve with windows 10 once windows 10 hits india i think we will have uh, more people uh, going for windows phone after that and we will see some new features as well coming with windows 10 for phones okay what do you think about the new moto x new models i think the moto x play is a potential phone a very good phone you can actually consider moto x play i like moto x play the build quality of the moto x play is again not that great this is something which i feel after using the phone but still it is uh, good enough uh, we will tell you more once we basically get to review it as of now the event is happening on 14th which is monday coming monday we will get to see the new moto x play and then i will be able to tell you more of what do i feel about the moto x play and moto x style is definitely better phone in terms of the overall design and especially more premium than uh, moto x which we have seen earlier okay can you tell me the best smartphone in a budget of 10k i would say the best smartphone in the budget of 10k would be the xiaomi redmi 2 which is a pretty good phone and it gives you good performance and 
good custom UI with a lot of features. So Xiaomi Redmi 2 is definitely a very good phone. Okay, we have another question from Rohit Adhikari. Okay, uh, what could be the best phone uh, for about 15K? And my priority is gaming and camera quality. So the best phone in 15K and gaming is your priority, then you can go for the Xiaomi Mi 4i. Uh, Mi 4i does heat up in terms of gaming, but you can change the performance modes and you can actually set it to performance mode in which the device will heat up, but gaming will be good enough. But after some point, point of time of, uh, of gaming, you will see that the device will give you a lot of lag in gaming. So that is going to happen, especially in that phone. And especially you can also go for the Zenfone 2 with 2 GB of RAM. That should also be good for gaming. And as far as our results are concerned, uh, Zenfone 2 is pretty good in terms of the gaming, especially with 2 GB of RAM. And they have done good things on that one. OK, I have another question from Abhiram. Abhiram, OK. Abhiram is asking, hi, Abhishek. I'm Abhiram from Trivendram. Trivendram and I have a doubt related to Samsung Galaxy J7. Does it support? 4k videos okay i don't think that the samsung galaxy j7 will support 4k videos 4k videos uh, i think you cannot record 4k video from samsung galaxy j7 and you cannot also play them uh, so i think 4k feature is not there but i will confirm that once we get to review the phone okay uh, the next question is from abhay abhay and he's asking is it worth buying iPhone 4S for 13K. Yes, iPhone 4S is definitely a good phone and you can go for it. And iPhone 4S is still a rock solid phone. However, in terms of the future upgrades, I think uh, you will have issues upgrading. You will have the, you will have to see phone lagging, especially on the UI. So in case you plan to use iPhone 4S with the older iOS 8 and you don't want to upgrade to iOS 9, then it is good. Otherwise, if you want to upgrade to the new version of OS from Apple, then iPhone 4S will not be a good option in future uh, going forward. You have mentioned that, OK, we have another question from David Edward. You have mentioned that the Moto X style will release only 14th. However, I have heard that it is only Moto X Play. No, Moto X style is also coming. And we have got the confirmation from Amit Boni. He is the India head from Motorola. He is the Motorola India head. And he has confirmed that the Moto X style will also come on 14th. So we will see that as well. Apart from that, OK, uh, another question is, OK, wait, I think this has been zoomed. Oh, wait, something has happened. Yeah. OK, hi, sir. Is it worth buying Samsung Galaxy A7? So A7, I have not basically reviewed till now. So I won't be able to comment much on the A7, whether it is worth buying or not. But specification look good, and uh, A7 may be a good phone. Uh, hopefully, as per specifications are concerned, it does not look bad. But I can tell you more only when I get to review it. So that's it. I think we are done with all the questions as of now. And I'm going to end this chat and this uh, thing right now. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us to everyone. This was the first event which we did. And again, as of now, I can see that the video feed is kind of laggy. So we will try to do it better next time with a better camera and a better setup. And uh, that that is something which we will do next time. So we will hopefully we will improve the quality and things in uh, the way in which it is done over there on this uh, YouTube channel. So we will improve next time. Thanks for being here. Thanks for bearing me. <laughs> in this video thanks for watching and uh, i think we have some more questions as well I, I can quickly answer them we have another question from abhay which is uh whether redmi 2 or redmi 2 prime uh, redmi 2 prime is definitely better compared to redmi 2 you should go for the redmi 2 prime and uh is you unique better than redmi 2 a one gb variant so in terms of the variant if you talk about then the redmi 2 one gb variant is still good however the storage will be an issue and especially you get less storage because the custom UI and you get you are getting slightly more storage over here on the U unique on the uh, uh, one GB variant again there is only one GB variant of U unique. Apart from that, Galaxy Alpha is around uh, two thousand rupees. Is it worth? We do not have any information about that, so I'm not able to comment on that. Uh, okay, 
does u unique heat up u unique does not heat up that much especially in terms of gaming because it can hard play uh, some of the high definition games and even if it plays them then there is a lot of lag uh, we have asphalt 8 installed on this one and we have actually played that game it it lagged like anything uh, it was such such a graphic lag so uh, definitely this phone is not meant for gaming so heating is again not a question at all because heating actually gives you more, more of heating more uh, heating is actually happening because most of the time in, in the smartphones because of the gaming and gaming is an issue on this one so that's it uh, oneplus 2 or lg g4 uh, oneplus 2 definitely if you if you can buy it otherwise lg g4 and this was the question from deepak muthi so that's it from us i'm going to stop this video now and i will resume again next time we will tweet uh, the date and the time when this is going to happen and then we will do it hopefully this was good and i will do do things better next time in terms of the camera in terms of sound and other things thanks for watching this is abhishek signing off thank you